Hey guys, I'm back with a quick little update. This is my uh, newly acquired Arkanoid cabinet. It's a Taito cab, it's a cocktail. Uh, the monitor in it was dead. Um, I knew it when I bought it. Uh, so I'm currently capping it and uh, getting the parts for the hot and all that and the uh, voltage regulator. Uh, but in the meantime, um, I threw in, I kind of lucked out. I'm um, not sure if it's a 14 inch or a 13 inch monitor, but I had a really small LCD monitor that's pretty good, has pretty good viewing angles, believe it or not. Um, that I just threw in there temporarily, just uh, for now. I mean, I plan to put the CRT. The CRT actually, it's over here. And it's a Hitachi, it's a Toei uh, 13 inch monitor. It's really one of the more. Uh, pain in the butt monitors people uh, kind of cringe when they hear it but uh, you know the tube looks okay it has a tiny bit of burden it's not a big deal but uh, upstairs I have the chassis and I'm still capping it and uh, changing things out and trying to uh, get some uh, solder points uh, I believe a couple pads fell off so I have to kind of just wire them up to the points I need to and uh, so that's gonna take a little longer than expected but in the meantime you know I uh, Decided I want to just put it in there. I just did it as an experiment. Um, it's using the same brackets and everything. I'll show you inside real quick. Let me just uh, get some light here. All right, so here's some light. So basically, I just had a Dell monitor, and uh, you know, it fit like a glove. You can see the brackets on the side, it was pretty original monitor. Didn't have typical brackets that a regular monitor would have, which makes it another big pain because uh, the actual chassis goes on the side, kind of inside there, uh, and then the monitor on top. So the whole unit is actually the bracket. <laughs> so uh, you know, for now, I just kind of removed it and stuck this in there, and it fit perfectly. And uh, there's nothing holding it down or anything. It's just kind of sitting on there, but it's kind of snug between the two points. So, you know, it's not going anywhere. Uh, the other thing I did was I added the converter that you see there. And that allows the signal from the Arkanoid board to go into the monitor, and it looks great. It doesn't work with a SLG. I tried it with Crafty Max SLG. I'm not sure if the signal's not compatible, but it didn't have the scan lines, which is not a big deal because, again, it's just temporary for now. Uh, the other thing I added too was this doesn't have a free play on Arkanoid, the motherboard or the PCB. So I added uh, this little device here. It's from Adam over at uh, I believe it's called One Up. But uh, yeah, it's on there and it's really cool. And basically, it's uh, it allows you to credit automatically into the PCB itself to give you credits. So it's at onecircuit.com, and I t highly recommend it. Um, but basically, I just wire it right into the harness. Don't have to disconnect anything with the uh, coin mech over there. So instead of coining up, what I do is... Um, here, let's see if I can hold it down. You'll see. Let me close it up, and I'll show you. Okay. But basically, you just press player one button. It'll credit and press player one automatically. So that's what that little circuit does. Gives a free play option, which is cool. But as you see, everything else is working fine. Control panel is in really nice shape. So uh, I'll just let it get killed here. So that's it. Let me light it up a little bit more so you can see. But basically, I just uh, I press the one player button there or two players you can continue it works perfectly fine it's like putting a quarter in and it's a great cool invention that you can get from adam it's just it's really cool it's called onecircuit.com is where you would go to buy it it's about 20 bucks i believe shipping's included for me 20 bucks was a small price to pay uh, there is no free mod that i know of because i know the arkanoid boards are boards are uh, encrypted so here it is player two if you want to see let's see so I press player two button, puts two credits in, presses player two. So right now you'll see player one is up. It's flashing. And I'll just let it die here. Okay, now you'll see it'll flip upside down to the other person who's on this side. And 
All right, so here it is. I'm controlling it. Press the button. And there you go. And it flips back to where it needs to go. So that's it. Just a quick little update. I'm still working on my uh, Thunder Blade. I actually removed the PCB, and I'm in the process of uh, reprogramming the chips on there to try to resurrect it and see if that helps. Uh, so hopefully that'll be a later video. But thanks again for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks. Take care.